All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. So I have got another amazing location for you here today. So this is an abandoned farmhouse. Now this farmhouse is gonna be demolished, I believe for development. Um, yeah, it's always unfortunate to see this sort of thing, but you know, this area is growing really rapidly. So this sort of thing happens a lot. Now it's a really cool place. There's a bit of modernization done to the farmhouse, so it's not all original. But despite that, I really enjoy what they did with the updates to this home. Um, you'll see the kitchen is really well done. The bathrooms are, yeah, they're okay, I guess. But yeah, I can actually live with most of the work that they did with this. And most of the time, I don't like the updates that people do to their homes. So this is a, a pleasant one for me. It's still got some original details, like this really nice staircase here. like. You know every farmhouse has um, they painted the balusters which you know I don't necessarily agree with but some of you think differently really like this nice stained wood so I think you guys are really gonna enjoy this one so let's just get right into it and check out the static space Okay. So as mentioned before, we have a great little farmhouse here today. You can see this is a more, a more modern part of the home. But that's still a nice, some nice wood up there on that beam. So I think we're above the garage here. What's in here? Got mouse traps. Mm, nothing interesting. Let's check the other side. Another mouse trap. It's pretty pretty normal oh we got some some spare laminate flooring yeah this is a laminate flooring I think actually this may be actual wood we've got this nice these nice French suicide doors <laughs> yeah they go outside from the second story so that could be a bit of a problem Still a nice view though. So yeah, this home is partially updated in some areas. Bet, bet you there used to be a door to the garage here. Too bad it's not there anymore. Oh wow, check out the ceiling. Really nice ceiling. This place really does have some nice, uh, some nice woodwork still. Oh, here's the door to the garage. So maybe that other one wasn't the door to the garage. Oh, we got a fridge here. <clears throat> Jeez, this thing's not that old. It's not in very good shape though. Frigid air. It's pretty dirty inside. Let's 
Nothing in the moving box. Pretty basic garage. Floor's in reasonably good shape. Not too corroded from the salt. They definitely parked their car in here, you can tell. So I'm not sure what this area was. Maybe it was another kitchen or, no, laundry room. Okay, that makes sense. Washer there, dryer there. Those light fixtures are pretty cool. And even this, uh, this top here isn't too bad. But I'm loving this brick wall. Just amazing. Look at that. Incredible. Love exposed brick like that. So that means that, it obviously means that this was an addition onto the original farmhouse. Oh, they had some, some pretty good taste for their modernizations. I mean, that light fixture is pretty cool. Look at the cobwebs up there. I think this one's been abandoned for a little while actually. Oh, I like these shelves too. I mean, they're not like, you know, super expensive or anything, but they're nice. Nice door as well. This would probably be original. I would think. Maybe. Wow, look at this shower. So I don't think these people were planning on moving originally. That's what often happens with these development houses. They don't always know. Huh. Yeah, not a bad shower at all. I don't know if I like the, the whole glass idea, but glass wall, but anyway, yeah, it's a modern toilet. Yeah, so a lot of these, uh, the areas of the house are, are very modernized. Oh, wow. Okay, we'll get back to that in a minute. Let's check out this sunroom first. Lots of windows, lots of light. more nice exposed brick because this is an addition as well got your wood burning fireplace here so likely this part of the home wasn't heated oh maybe it was there we go we got a vent up there so it was at least partially but yeah i mean you can see this brick is weathered but at the same time it's still so nice Nice thick windows. Yeah, it's a nice place for sure. I even like this tile work, which is more modern, but. Yeah, I think they did a pretty good job with this house. I don't know if I'd paint the wood, but you know, that's my personal taste. Those are probably the original that's the original trim work, most likely. Oh boy, look at this ceiling though. That is incredible. That wood is well worn, well weathered over the years. Beautiful. And of course the fireplace. Now that is an impressive fireplace. I think mainly because the fireplace like turns into the whole wall. Like you can see over here, it's all, all brick on the wall up there as well. It does look like it's a different type of brick on the fireplace, but 
I think they did a pretty good job in finding something that worked with it. The mantle's quite nice as well. Nice thick piece of stone here. You got a nice, nice piece of wood there as well. Not sure what this would have been used for. Maybe some shelves or something. Looks like that was added after because that's the same brick as the fireplace. I like the archway as well. Yeah, this was a really nice home actually. Now we get into the more modern section. The kitchen here, it's very modernized. It's not bad tile work though, I guess. Your stone countertop. I actually kind of like these uh, cupboards. I'm usually kind of indifferent to that sort of thing, but these ones I like. Nice color and appropriate fixtures. And those little, little shelves in the corner there. Look at that really nice stained wood. Look at that. Beautiful, lots of space. Well, not so much on this wall maybe, but yeah, you probably had your fridge here or something. Maybe there was, must have been the fridge or a stove actually, yeah. So that's why the backsplash is there. So stove would be there, range hood up there. And you can see the original lathe and plaster back there behind the wall. Yeah, I'm really liking this house. Oh, this is where the fridge would have been. Nice view into the sunroom from here. And all the original trim work. This is probably original too. Again, I don't know about painting it, but to each their own, I guess. Oh, this ceiling's kind of dated, maybe 70s or 80s, possibly. Almost like the popcorn. Uh, all right, let's go to the basement first. This stunning abandoned Victorian farmhouse was built before 1870, but an exact date is unknown. It was listed on the city's register as having potential heritage value, but was never officially added to the list. The home has had many different owners over the years, including three different families living in the house within the last decade. It last sold publicly in 2021 for $1.3 million. The entire property was expropriated a short time later to be replaced with a new road being built nearby.
The house was supposed to be demolished in the spring of 2022, but so far nothing has happened, even though the construction for the new roadway is well underway. See if I can get past this low hanging ceiling easily. Jeez, don't like that at all. Oh wow, that is cool. Look at this, we have a brick floor. I don't know if I've ever seen that in a home before. That is really interesting to see. Oh, this must have been the original kitchen here. Well, not the original, but the previous one, I would think. Kind of like the black countertop though. Good way to make use of, uh, of the material. I don't know what these are. Something to do with the water system. Oh, well, maybe they're like storage tanks in case uh, of drought or something like that. If anyone knows, let me know down in the comments. Oh, this is an old school furnace. And it's gas too. Jeez, yeah, this is very old school. Arrow. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Didn't expect that old of a furnace. That's cool though. It still works, right? Oh boy. They had rats too, I guess. Cause that's not a mouse trap. That's a rat trap. <laughs> oh, such a low ceiling though. I don't like that. Yeah, I think this is laminate. Yeah, it is. Oh, check out this, not quite a pocket door, but sliding door anyway. I like that. Oh, wow. Look at that built in. Wonderful. Lots of storage. I actually kind of like that ceiling. Yeah, not too bad at all. Vines growing over the windows. Yeah. Oh wow, look at this front door. And you can see the stained glass up there, up top. That's really cool. And even this decorative screen door. And of course the staircase, the obligatory farmhouse staircase. 
It's not the nicest one I've seen, I think, mainly because they, partly because they painted these balusters. It's a shame. Oh, wow. Check out this cupboard. Look at that wallpaper in the back. Like that. No, not the same up there. But it's still got some nice stained wood left. Like they left the, uh, the new old post. Oh, that reminds me. The hardwood floors in this room. These are probably original. They're quite nice. All right, let's head up to the other upstairs. Yeah. Oh, look at the frost on the windows. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Oh, cool. alternative to wallpaper sure beats a flat wall for sure not a bad painting and nice big cupboards at the top of the stairs glass doorknobs so yeah again this washroom looks like it was updated they kept the doors though and the original door handles as well these things are great absolutely amazing only things left is the to only thing left is the toilet it's so weird But even the top of this staircase is really, really nice. And we got more stained glass right there. Let's go check it out. You can see the, the sun shining the color through onto the wall here. That's really interesting. Yeah, it's some nice stained glass. Very colorful. No religious imagery, which is nice. Yeah, it's an older ceiling as well. Oh, it's the pink room. Oh, we got another painting here. Huh. Oh, it's like a continuation into the other room. Cause look, here's the back half of that one deer. That's pretty cool. Very smart. Very, very smart. What do we used to be there? Lots of cupboard space. Interesting brown curtains. Get a bit of a texture to them. Oh yeah, and the original beefy baseboards as well. Someone tried to take those off. They didn't do a very good job though. Kind of destroyed them. <clears throat> oh, and this, this flooring as well, just incredible. Really nice stuff. 
threshold. They had a lot of built-in uh, storage here. Is that wallpaper? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, wallpaper. Huh. Oh, there's the attic. I won't be going in there. Love that light coming through the stained glass. Oh, the staircase. All right, thanks a lot for watching everyone. Really hope you enjoyed this video. Pretty cool space. Um, the thing that I forgot to mention in the intro and throughout the video because I didn't realize until I took my mask off and I could smell it. So they actually, the owners had dogs. Yeah, you can really smell it when you're walking around in here. And one of these windows is pretty dirty. So I'm thinking the dogs probably were, you know, drooling and, and pawing at the door whenever the owners weren't home, that sort of thing. Typical, you know, dog scenario, what they're like when you're living with them. So again, thanks a lot for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. Give it a like if you did. Throw a comment down below if you have anything to say. Share it. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you at the next. Static space.